Hey everyone, DOG Osimo here, bringing you my very first commentary with DOG. Uh, actually, this is my very first commentary ever. Hope you guys enjoyed that little snippet of uh, Disciples of Gaming Machinima Presents. I used about 36 hours of uh, Blender, which is a free 3D modeling program. If anybody has any tips or tricks or hints on how to use that program, if you guys, uh, anybody has ever used it before, please hit me up. I can use all the help I can get with that because that program is very extensive that program is massively limitless like there are things that you can do with that program that I've been looking at models of, of things make things look so lifelike um, in a 3d in a 3d recreated world but enough about the software uh, let's jump into actually what we were going to be covering here in this commentary uh, this is going to be all about the future of DOG Machinima so, Disciples Gaming Machinima team, you guys haven't really seen too much of, out of this aspect in the last month. There just really hasn't been anybody doing anything with it. So, I'm taking the taking the reins here of that, and we're going to be bringing out some new videos. More than likely, you're going to be seeing about two or three videos coming out a week uh, from this team. Um, once a month, you guys are going to see a top ten. As you guys seen the first top ten that was posted out, I want to thank... Uh, Everybody that was on my friends list uh, that was a, that I was able to find their file shares, I wasn't wasn't looking through the whole DOG community itself. I just kind of was able to just go through my my friends list and, and look through and and see what I can find because predominantly I'm gonna say 95% of my friends list is DOG. So it was pretty cool to go through all those vids and see them. Um, if you guys want to submit for for a top 10 video, there's gonna be a posting on the forums coming soon saying, hey, you know. Uh, what we what I want out of that you know I want to let you guys know I want to have a, like a 45 second clip at the most uh, if you want to present something for the top 10 so it's gonna be kind of limited on that if you got something like that's happening in a minute 30 and it's really epic you know I'll take that but it's I really want to keep it trimmed down to about 45 seconds on these clips um, this way I can get through the vids as quickly as possible and rate them into my scaling. We'll let you guys know that I'm very, very particular about rating things. Um, I don't look at videos that have you sitting in a corner for an hour with a portable radar. If you're actually sitting in the corner for more than five seconds, I'm probably going to um, not utilize your video. Um, if you're if you're always on the move and always running running through, and I'm not saying that running and gunning is my preferred tactic, um, because it, it is, but I also like to see, you know, cool things that are happening. You know, we've seen DOG Alpha Omega's his triple kill with that stinger. I thought that was pretty cool. That's something that just is completely random and happens. Um, but the fact that he got a triple kill out of it um, really just put it up to the top um, with that scaling system that I have in place. Um, so we're going to be having the top tens. We have Pro Team coming up this week. It's going to be starting Saturday, so we're about five days away from that right now. I want to let you guys know that Pro Team is a big thing here in DOG. We have a lot of fun with it each season, and every season is always different. There's always some kind of different aspect that's brought to it. Uh, this season, as you guys know, there's going to be no launchers, no tubes. The only launcher you're going to have is going to be able to is going to be a stinger, and that's going to be to take things out of the sky with. So, very big improvement right there. Um, it's going to change the way this game is played. So this week, you guys are going to get some call-out maps on the three maps that we'll be playing. Uh, you'll get, get some great starting routes for uh, domination, demolition, sabotage, team deathmatch, things that you guys can do to, to really capture that first 30 seconds of gameplay. I'm always a big, big fan that in, and within that first 30 seconds of the game, you can actually win a game or lose a game. Uh, it's how you present that starting, that starting momentum there. So if you guys have a really great start and things are going really well for you um, and you utilize that feature every time, you know, I want you guys to know that variety, as as a, another commentator out there says, variety is the spice of life. You know, sometimes there's going to be times where you're going to go ahead and you're going to make that same starting route. You're going to make it 100 times, you know, and 90, 90 times of those 100 times, you know, you're always in the first blood or a double kill or a nice triple kill. Something like that happens. Um, but always remember, changing it up from time to time can make those can make that starting route a little better. I don't even know how that guy knifed me. Um, I probably shouldn't have tried drop shotting there. Probably was not a great idea. But yeah, that first the first 30 seconds is a really great starting point there in the game. Um, so we're gonna have those map callouts. We're also gonna have some situational awareness videos, um, letting you guys know, hey, 
you know, if you if you find yourself in this kind of situation in Call of Duty, you know, maybe you should back up. Maybe you should advance. Maybe you should try chucking a flashbang at this guy's face before you um, hit him. I'm a big fan of slapping people with smoke grenades. I find that hilarious. Um, anytime you smack somebody with a grenade, that's pretty hilarious to me. I like that. Um, so if you guys are, if you guys find yourselves in clips and you're just smacking people with grenades, I might throw those in the top ten clips as well. Um, me and DOG Apache, we're going to be doing a game preview video. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Assassin's Creed 3. Um, we're going to be doing game, big games that are going to be coming up for this holiday season that's going to be coming soon. Um, so we have Assassin's Creed 3. We've got uh, Halo 4 coming out. A lot of guys in, in the Halo side are really anticipating this game. They haven't had a new game for like over two years now. So it's not like on the Call of Duty side where we get a new game and things can keep, stay fresh and, you know, Activision keeps feeding us more and more and we keep buying into it. Um, the Halo guys, they kind of have to really depend on um, the unity over on that side. And that's, that's really what makes that, that side really great. Um, we can keep things interesting with that that's, that variety that, that comes every every 12 months. We get some kind of variety to it every 12 months. So that's that's really cool. Um, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2 coming out. Oh wow! I'm not a big fan of wasn't a big fan of Black Ops when it originally was out. So I'm kind of a little leery on it myself. At the same time, I'm kind of anticipating it because I know the community is here. I really anticipate it just because of the community in and of itself. Um, that's the reason why I, I anticipate that game myself. Um, big things that I really am looking forward to is kind of uh, the the M8. After seeing some of those uh, videos there, the M8, I'm really anticipating utilizing that weapon. Um, I'm also anticipating the quad rotor usage and like how that's going to be a kill streak in the game or how things are going to work on that end. Um, but enough about Call of Duty Black Ops because I can make this whole commentary about Black Ops in and of itself. But at the same time, that's not what we're looking for here out of this video. Um, we're going to also be doing so, a movie here shortly. Uh, it's going to be something that we're going to be opening up to the entire DOG community. If anybody is willing to participate, um, keep in mind you need to take direction very well. Um, so if I'm capping something and like you're not in the position that I need you to be and we have to do this like five times over and over again, I'm probably going to be asking you to leave the lobby. Um, just keep in mind, taking just bear in mind, keep keep good direction when it comes to things. Um, don't don't be that guy that's just sitting there doing what they randomly want to do because you're just ruining the video for everybody else. Um, so we're gonna be having the movie coming up here. Uh, that's gonna be probably gonna be kicking off the the thought process, the brainstorming of that at the end of this week. So we have the movie. We've got uh, the preview videos as you guys just heard. We've got me sneaking up on this guy, shooting him in the back. Found that hilarious. Um, killed that guy who tried to throw a knife at me. I think that was probably Dustin Burdine. Um, and then you get to watch this nice little Reaper video here. Um, the Reaper video has a nice kill cam at the end. I kind of throw this guy back into the door. Um, it's pretty hilarious. And I think that's it right there. Game over. And watch this guy get shot back into the door. All right, but that's enough about the commentary here, guys. I want to say thank you all for uh, watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, rate, what have you with this. Um, have a blast. Enjoy being part of DOG.